Nordic African Media Hub visited the Norwegian solar company Skytexelar's operation in South Africa, looking at how they've built a sustainable business model, empowering local communities and professionals. The Norwegian solar company has been pioneering the production of large-scale solar energy in South Africa with its renewable energy program. Our involvement in, uh, in Africa was founded on our understanding uh, that uh, Africa is in desperate need for more power. Of course, we analyzed the, the market and found out that South Africa is an interesting starting point. And from there on onwards, we have been uh, you know, expanding our business into other countries. We see lots of opportunities in many, many different African countries. You have to be uh, determined and have stamina, and then you will be successful. Skytech Solar is quite a big investor uh, in solar energy here in, uh, in South Africa. A Norwegian-based company, but fully localized and I don't think there's a lot of companies who can say that. If you want to be successful in developing a local presence and including a local cultural aspects you need to have empowered management locally. Skytech Solar is an independent power producer that have managed to bring renewable energy to this part of the country. There is a huge potential in South Africa to bring the renewable share of power production to 70-80% within 15-20 years. That would really make a difference, and it will be the cheapest solution. We visited Skartex Alar's three solar plants in Kaltbult, Linda and Durenberg, as well as the head offices in Cape Town and Oslo. We are pioneers of this business. The Kaltbult plant, the first plant we ever built in Africa and in South Africa, is a tremendous example. This is the first um, uh, utility-grade um, PV park to go live in South Africa. It was like a test to see if it's possible to build it and to maintain it and to keep it working under our conditions, um, quite remotely from the industrialized areas of South Africa. And uh, it was the first plant in Africa of the size, uh, 75 megawatt DC input. We started training early. During the execution of the project, we had 91.5% unskilled workers, 30% women. And what was remarkable was that we finished the project three months ahead of time and we had no uh, LTIs or, or injuries, lost time incident as it's called, which is a common uh, expression uh, in oil and gas and other industries, which means that you know, safety was taken care of. All the staff are uh, selected from the region. Uh, myself, I was also living in, in this area before we started building. But having a, a utility-grade PV plant and, and trying to maintain it in this area brings business and it brings um, job opportunities for people that are not qualified and uh, people who are desperately looking for work. On a lot of these locations, you know, this is probably the project, the only project I've seen in 50 years and probably it's not going to be another project 10 to 15 years. So for them it's something that you experience only once in a lifetime. So for some it's a threat initially and others it's an opportunity. To work for Skatek who's organized and got systems in place and good management, uh, it helps a lot. See from a business point of view, risk mitigating because we're going to invest a lot of money. So, for example, I mean, we, we interface and cooperate with local schools. Uh, we start very early uh, training people that we think can help us uh, build a plant. And uh, then they will hopefully also generate the skill set that they can uh, apply or, or deploy on other opportunities later on. For Skartek, a Norwegian company, to have the trust in South Africans enough to build this scale of a plant at this cost here, um, certainly shows to other investors as well that they might want to invest in South Africa. We had um, over a thousand people that were um, employed in the construction phase and also we've got about 60% of the permanent staff that are all locally based. So Skytec Solar is bringing its culture to this environment. We have um, learned to, to live the company values which has been predictable, um, being change makers, working together with the community. So um, that, that Skatex Solar, it has become part of, of our community. 
we want to teach people to fish and not just hand out fish because otherwise the, the solutions is, is not sustainable. We want to build sustainable energy solutions but we also want to be involved in sustainable community projects. We captured some voices from the inspiring community project Scott XLR partners with in South Africa. The children learn how to accept their body, how to deal with rape uh, issues. It's, it's a lot of things that go on there. We are based here in Pietrasville and Phillipstown. Identified what is the actual need that the community needs. The kids that we actually work with, it's, most of them are from disadvantaged uh, backgrounds. They are vulnerable. Most of them are not exposed to a lot of life skills, activities. So the field band actually plays a very important role in shaping their future, in shaping their self-confidence. They looked at my business and saw it got potential. Yeah, I'm going to expand. I just bought the land at this site. So I think it, it, during the, the year, I'm going to build the big laundry. I've got 255 children here. We start uh, enrolling the children from two months up to six years. Everybody who passes here, who comes in here, they stop and look. This, this building, this plan, that they ever see. But now they see in the poor communities. It's important for us uh, when we build a foundation to think ahead. We're going to be in most countries 20 to 30 years after the plant is up and running. The investors and business leaders who see that, listen, there is a possibility to, to do both. I can go into this country. If I do it right, I can uh, make a difference in the country, but I can also make money for, for my company. And I don't think we should look at that as negative. I think that double motivation needs to be in place in order for things to happen. Currently, we still um, reliant on more than 90% of coal generation. So from a carbon perspective, um, we really need to, to change this for, for our country and for the world at large to reduce our carbon emissions. A large part of Africa haven't really enjoyed power. So you don't have to sort of convince you know, the big mastodons to change their attitude and embrace renewables. You can start from scratch, which is helpful. Skatexol is very much invested in South Africa, not just for now, but also for the future. Mm -hmm.